you can't drill plug video. JJ! Be doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Making his content. I'm, I'm seeing him peeping. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Shall see what this be about? From the outside in, London looks like a rich city with many different tourist attractions like the Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London, and the Shard, to name a few, resulting in London being one of the most popular destinations for tourism. What a lot of people don't know about are the large street gangs that control the drug trade in each borough, with a lot of these gangs being responsible for postcode murders, kidnappings, and tit-for-tat incidents happening between opposition gangs. The large gang presence in each borough results in London being named as one of the most dangerous cities in the world due to its high crime Rate. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of London's most dangerous gangs. These gangs control the local drug trade and handle rivalries with many opposition gangs throughout London. Molly Strip are a large street gang based around Leighton, which is based within the Waltham Forest Borough Molly of East Strip. London. The gang is split into two different sets, one being named El Tizzy and the other being named SJ. El Tizzy controls the E10 postcode and SJ controls the E17 postcode. Richie. The olders of Molly Strip are predominantly Somali, but the younger generation of Molly Strip are a wide range of ethnicities. Molly Strip don't focus on local postcode rivalries much, but instead the local drug trade. With it being said, Molly Strip make up to 50,000 pounds a week from drugs. Although Molly Strip are more focused on making money, they still have beef with surrounding gangs like Priory Court, LGR, and Ching Hall over drugs. These rivalries have gotten very deadly, with it confirmed Molly Strip are responsible for over five deaths linked to the beefs. Molly Strip has been named London's most dangerous gang by the media, making them a feared gang in the borough and in surrounding boroughs due to their violent reputation. Molly Strip have many different rappers, like Ronda Montana, Ridla, and Baby Maine. These rappers have been very active in the drill scene, with their songs going viral on YouTube getting millions of views. Peckham Boys are one of the largest and oldest gangs in Southeast London. Well, the Peckham order, Boys right? are based on multiple estates within the SE15 postcode. With the oldest generation of Peckham Boys going back to the 1970s, with them controlling a lot of the drug market in Southeast London, they have had major beef with surrounding gangs resulting in stabbings and shootings playing out in the streets. With the rivalry between Peckham Boys and the Ghetto Boys being the longest running rivalry in the late 1990s, people would even start referring to Peckham as Pecknarm. This was a slang term combined the word Vietnam and Peckham due to its high crime rate and gang violence statistics. During the mid-2000s, the Peckham boys would become better known as Black Gang due to them repping the color black. A few years later in 2013, they would splinter off and create a new set under Peckham boys named 365, which would be better known as Zone 2, which has been popularized by the okay. UK drill scene in recent years. Peckham boys has had a dangerous feud with Moscow 17 and other sets in the surrounding area, with many people being killed as a result. One of the most famous rivalries was between Peckham and Brixton, which has been labeled the most infamous rivalry in London. With the first instances of Peckham boys making music during this time, with gigs dropping classic UK grime tracks like Talking the Hardest and Look What the Cat Dragged In, these songs would rake in millions of views and streams. Peckham boys has brought up many different rappers rapping under the Peckham boys and Zone 2 names such as Giggs, Quangface, Karma, Trizak, and Snap Capone. There's another younger set allied with Zone 2 called YPB or Younger Peckham boys, which also reps the SE. 15 postcode. Wood Green Mob Wood is a large street gang based around the N22 postcode in Haringey, North London. Wood Green Mob has had major beef with surrounding gangs in North London. In the early 2000s, Wood Green Mob would have a dangerous conflict with the Hackney Boys, which was a deadly rivalry known to police. However, the current generation of Wood Green pretty much have beef all over North London. They have rivalry with NPK, OFB, N15, TPL DC8, Hornsey, Hoxton, and a few other gangs. Wood Green has been known as one of, if not the most dangerous street gang in London with more than 10 members currently facing life sentences for kidnap, murder, torture, and other incidents within the streets. Wood Green also have a big presence within the local drug market. A lot of their beef has been a result of the local drug trade. Wood Green isn't as active in the music scene, although they still do have rappers, including Dills OJ, Crash 22, and Rids. Wood Green has Crash. many famous members like Rids. Steeler, who is notorious for using an axe against his ops and organizing the killings of members of rival gangs. Another notorious Wood Green member was Lamps. He was well known in the streets and was feared by many of his ops. He allegedly would apply pressure to all of his ops constantly. Sadly, this street life would catch up to Lamps, and he would be shot dead outside View Cinema in Woodgreen. The murder goes unsolved up until this day, with no one being arrested in connection. Rest in peace, Lamps.
Sirak are a small street gang based on the Moorlands Estate in southwest London, SW9. Sirak was formed by younger members of an older gang known as Murder Zone. Sirak had a close alliance with Angel oh. Town. However, in the last few years, the alliance would split and the two sides would start to actively beef. Due to the split and gas gang, which Angel Town was a part of, Angel Town nowadays is referred to as Popular Group 150. After the split and gas gang, Sirak would start being referred to as 727. 727 represents the word rack when typed onto a trap. Phone. Sirak never has very phone. few allies sure. with them being surrounded by over 10 rival gangs, uh -huh. however they are still able to hold their own. In 2023, the beef phone. between 150 and Sirak would become very active with a 150 member named Skeng Roy being stabbed to death and a Sirak affiliate being stabbed to death only weeks later as an act of retaliation. This just shows how dangerous Sirak is. Their main ops are 150, 410, 67, LTH and Gypsy Hill to name a few. They also only have one ally, that being Harlem Spartans. Sirak has been labeled a very ruthless gang by the media due to multiple murders and shootings being linked to the Sirak gang. Sirak also have a few rappers, that being SR, HK, Doubleback, and Trap SG. Sirak's most notable member is SR. He would go viral in 2021 after dropping Welcome to Brixton, which has amassed over 70 million Oh my views. god, that was his track? In the future, I was probably one of the best below. drill songs I've ever heard in my whole life. Albanians are a notorious yeah, street gang based on a gas coin estate in Barking. Within the IG-11 postcode, the members of Albanians are predominantly Albanian, with them being the largest and most well-known Albanian gang in London. The Albanians are well-known for being the biggest distributors of coke throughout England. It's estimated they make up to five billion pounds from the cocaine trade throughout all of the United Kingdom, with them being labeled the kings of coke within England. The Albanians use different methods of violence like murder and torture. The Albanians don't really rap much but have a few rappers like Vince, Stealth and Vision. The songs these members make rack up millions of views with some songs hitting over 10 million views. Hellbanians also post on Instagram showing off money and guns and often have expensive cars and clothes in their music videos. This makes them a very feared gang in London with some residents of the estate that the gang is based on being scared, stating that they live in fear due to the gang presence. Their large gang presence and choke on the drug market definitely it's makes them one of them due to the noise. gang presence. Their large gang presence and choke on the drug Yo, market in definitely London makes too, them that's one of the crazy. most dangerous gangs in London. Time. <clears throat> Manor Park is a small street gang Damn, based on the CMG ain't get no burn. postcode in East London. They have built a oh, reputation as a ruthless and dangerous gang in the area. Worse. They have a deadly said, beef with nearby stop. Drillford. I have a video explaining the beef between these two gangs. The link to that video will be in the description. Right. They also beef sixth better known as ACG with the beef between these two gangs getting heated over the years. With a sixth member named Lil Jumbo being killed by Manor Park as an act of mistaken identity. This would cause the beef between sixth and Manor Park to get more active. That's Manor fucked. Park has has been a largely Somali-based gang, but in recent years they have members of all ethnicities. The Manor Park gang are responsible for a lot of the drug trade around Ilford and other areas in East London. They have also gained a reputation for being very dangerous. Recently, Manor Park was in the news for the double murder of Zack and Giddy in a trap house. Manor Park is allegedly also responsible for more deaths in the area, some even being unsolved till this day. Manor Park have a few rappers, those being M12, Farmer 12, and Recky. However, they don't rap much, being Farmer very inconsistent 12. in music. With Recky being charged with the double murder of Giddy and Zack whilst being on the run. And Farmer 12 currently riding 23 years for a murder he committed Damn, in 2019. So then all these niggas, I mean, there's a reason why these niggas is not rapping. One of the things all these gangs have in common is that they have young men that have a lot of potential to make legal careers instead of this road life. This video also marks the fact that this road life you see certain people living is not worth it. With everyone involved losing friends to the crime or prison. <coughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave it. This should be a fucking act, man. That should be an act, bro, because there's no way you find it. Like, you know, that one thing in you that you could just source infinite of. And you know you can make money from it. And you just. Yo, bro, if that nigga sell me something, bro, if he say something about me, I'm gonna go kill that nigga, bro. Fuck all this bread I'm making, nigga. So you can't jump off roads, nigga. Think about your fucking mother, nigga. Your fucking kids, nigga. You better get off road. Your loved ones. So you, saw you, niggas, nigga, you saw niggas was talking about 150 and this shit, but you, you, saw, you see what M24 done. That nigga ain't off the roads nowhere near, nigga. That nigga getting that. Every time I see a new music video for M24, his chain look more diamondy, you. nigga. Right. Watch this, man. Just keep it, keep, keep focused. Yes, sir. Be true to yourself. Subscribe. If you're a rogue man, fuck. Be the best rogue man you could ever fucking be, nigga. Subscribe, man.